Hey, good morning, everyone. It is a little bit chilly out today, but still rocking the shorts because I said screw it. Uh, um, so yesterday ended up absolutely beautiful. Like 50 some degrees out, sun was shining. It was just simply, simply amazing out. Whew. Ooh, my, everything's all frosty. Um, today, what do we got today? Today we have chest day with our very special guest, Owen, a good friend of mine. Uh, I will introduce you to him a little bit more. I had some issues with the mic yesterday. So more than likely, today is going to be a montage. Uh, plus, I don't know exactly how long the workout's going to be. Oh, oh God. I had to roll the windows down because uh, they're all frosted up. And, uh, whew, that cold air. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we're going to see how that plays out. Um, plus, with uh, Owen working out, uh, working in, workout could be a little bit longer. So I'm playing around with some editing stuff too, adding music and whatnot, making it look good and having some fun. Again, learning experience, not just in the uh, bodybuilding aspect of it, but uh, um, but uh, you know the IT technical aspect. I don't know if it's considered IT, but the technical video aspect of it too. There's somebody just dancing on the side of the road. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, it, it, Vermont, you get a lot of interesting, interesting people. So we got chess today, uh, incline barbell, uh, incline dumbbell, which I'm in, uh, uh, interested in using my hooks. Um, I picked up a new set of, well, not a new set, my only set of drop set pins. I know Dana was inquiring about them. He wanted to play around with them. I want to start incorporating some drop sets, especially in the end when I did my tricep finisher uh, last week when I did the 100, uh, 100 reps. Those drop set pins could have came in handy to drop down to 50 and then do 100 and just crank out some reps. But it is what it is. Uh, I do want to start incorporating those. So, so that's, my, that's my big plan. Uh, going to do a little bit of cardio today. I don't know if I told you I did do cardio after my workout yesterday. Uh, nothing massive. Just walked for uh, about a mile, steady pace. Increasing the step count of what I usually do throughout the day. So, but uh, yeah, so uh, I'm at the gym. I don't know if Dan is going to be here. I know he's got some issues with his ticker. His, uh, is um, his uh, stress test did not go well the other day, so uh, I you know he's a little bit bummed about that. So, but uh, we're wishing him the best. We are here. It's chilly, and it's time for a good day. So I will uh, I will talk with you guys in a bit. See you in there.
yeah, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah
chest workout, and we're doing 22 push-ups to raise awareness for veteran suicide. Every day, uh, 22 veterans commit suicide. 988 is the national suicide and crisis number. So Owen's going to join me today, unknowing, and we're going to crank out 22 real quick. Thanks again for your support. Be a friend, lend a hand, be there for somebody. Again, 988 is the National Suicide and Crisis Hotline. Thank you for your support. So, great overall workout. Uh, great thing about working out with somebody is they kind of push you. Owen and I, we've known each other for years. Um, before COVID, you weighed about 160 pounds. After COVID, he said he put on about 20 plus pounds, so he went up to about 180. When I, uh, he's probably around 180, 190 when I first ran it. Didn't even recognize the kid. I don't say kid, he's 33, you know. But, uh, he just got fucking big. So, you know, bust his ass, quit smoking, quit partying, settled down and focus on what was important to him discipline, intensities things I talk about every day. Uh, but it was really good working out with him. It's good to have a workout partner. He pushed me. He was there for a couple spots. Made me go a little bit harder than I originally planned. So, you know, that's always good. Uh, he's definitely stronger than me. But there are a few exercises in there that really put a hurting on him. So, um, you know, different people, different things. And, you know, he can bench more than me. I can, you know, do the downward press more than him. You know, uh, But it was really fun. I, I enjoyed having him in there. He's a great guy overall. Uh, one, just wonderful person. He works at Miles Court Barber Shop. Just got his barber's license. Um, he's not allowed to give me a, a shave or beard trim because uh, I've had the same same guy do mine for about three years now. And that would just be wrong. Why are there so many cars in town? What is going on right now? There are like cars everywhere. Um, it's not even lunchtime. It's only nine eighteen. Weird. So, uh, yeah. But uh, so successful chest day overall. Uh, I am definitely feeling it. Got a half hour of. Or I walked a mile and a half afterwards. Um, you know, trying to push that cardio, get back into a rhythm. I'm still going to keep doing my, my uh, battle ropes and, and farmer's walks and all that. But I need to make sure <sighs> I'm keeping my steps up, my cardio up. Um, to keep the fat burning. So currently I'm still weighing in about 240 pounds and stuck on that number. It's been difficult for me to go any higher than that, so i uh, got to do a little bit of reworking on my diet, see what I'm doing right, see what I'm doing wrong, see what's working, what's not working. I mean, the biggest thing is that it's so freaking hard for me to eat. I mean, it's a massive amount of calories. So, um, yeah, good day, good gym day. Dan is still not there. I really missing that guy. Hopefully he's uh, hopefully he's able to get back out soon. Uh, he, uh, for 60 years old, the motherfucker's fit. And I have something like this sideline. It really sucks. So, but um, but he'll be back. I know. Dana's a Dana's a stubborn old bastard. I mean, he's really old too. <laughs> but uh, you guys have a great day. I'll uh, I'll see you tomorrow.